Welcome to the Rice County Historical Society. I'm out in our Harvest and Heritage Hall building, standing in front of the 1924 La France fire truck. And it's this truck that's connected to this week in history. It was in August in 24 that the St. Mary's Hall burned to the ground, struck by lightning. St. Mary's was started as a boarding school in Bishop Whipple's home in 1866. Bishop Whipple and his wife moved, but the home, the continued to be used as a boarding school until 1883 when they built this grand building up on the bluff known as uh, Castle on the Bluff that was occupied by girls until 1924 when it was struck by lightning. Fire, Faribault, we were fortunate, had a great fire department, well equipped and so on, and they went to fight that fire. But they were approached during the fire by the school superintendent that one of the girls were missing. And Hollywood drama style, just at that moment, they looked up at the spire and they could see a girl waving her hands that she was way up in the peak of, of one of the spires in the St. Mary's Hall. They cranked up the ladder truck only to discover that the truck was too short to reach it. Through ingenuity and bravery of both the girl and the fire department, they were safe, able to rescue her and safely get her down. But it was startling and concerning. And the city of Faribault declared shortly thereafter that they would always want to make sure to have a fire truck that was tall enough to reach the tallest point in the in the city of Faribault. So it was at that time that they purchased this 1924 La France fire truck. Just a moment, I want to tell you that it actually took three people to drive this. Not to mention all those who were going to fight the fire, but actually three people to drive it. There would be somebody who would sit uh, in this seat driving with the steering wheel. Somebody right next to them, the far circle on the far side over there has a hand crank, and that would be cranking the siren going. Imagine having to hand crank the siren the whole way. And then, way back at the back, back here, there is another seat and another steering wheel that actually is to control the back portion of the fire truck. So imagine making the curve. Got somebody cranking at the back, somebody cranking at the front, and then somebody cranking on the fire or on the siren. When they would arrive to the fire, that uh, the seat at the back would swing out of the way. They'd pull out the back steering wheel, and then from here they'd crank the ladder up to the height that they needed. Rice County Historical Society, lucky to preserve the 24 La France fire truck for future generations.